Welcome to Fast Training Week. And remember that the topic this week is Keto Calm. Let's all make some ketones so we can calm our brain and calm our body. And remember that if you need support, we have a free group. The Resetter Collaborative is on Facebook. Just put Resetter Collaborative in your comments and we'll send you a link. If you need guided support, join us in our Reset Academy. We have an incredible community there, an incredible uh, resource of guides that can help you through this week. I'm over there in the Academy. And if you want all of this written out, all the different fasts, make sure that you put companion guide in the comments and we'll send you a link. The last thing I'm gonna tell you is make sure the point of this week is to be calm. So we love fasting to calm us. We love the ketogenic diet to calm us. There are some other strategies we can use like breathing. So check out Wim Hof breathing, check out Soma breathing. We have links on the companion guide. But as always, this is a powerful week for us to all be making ketones. Excited to be joining you in this process. If you love this information, send it out into the world. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Welcome. We are a community of people that are tapping into the miracle that our body was designed to be. Welcome. Day three of Fast Training Week. So if you are new to my channel, this is the first video you've ever watched. Go back and watch. This is a series of videos and it is an activity that we're doing together as a community here on YouTube and it's called Fast Training Week. This week we're working on what I call Keto Calm. How can we get our bodies to make ketones when we do make ketones, what is it doing to calm our body, to calm our brain? And on this video, I really wanna dive into the simplicity of why making more ketones is a sign that you're burning fat. And this is really a powerful, powerful uh, concept, but it's also so simple. So I wanna make sure that you guys understand it and you don't just get obsessed with trying to see ketones on your, ke on your blood sugar reader, that you actually understand what's happening inside the body. This is how it basically works when we eat. In a traditional diet, when we eat foods that are high in the glycemic index, what we're doing is we're raising our blood sugar levels. When our blood sugar goes up, so does our insulin. So insulin is there to be able to hook to the glucose molecules, hook to those sugar molecules and drive them into the cell so that the cell can make energy. So the, for most of our life, before we even knew about the ketogenic diet, what we did is we ate, we made insulin, insulin connected the glucose, and then that went into the cells and created energy. This is a very quick form of energy. Any of you that have ever had like at 10 in the morning a crash, and you've reached for some kind of food, and all of a sudden you brought your energy back up, you were working more from this mechanism inside your body. Now the challenge with this is that the minute that our blood sugar isn't high, our energy goes low. And when our energy goes low, our cravings kick in and we start to go, oh, I gotta eat. We get hangry, right? We're like, I gotta eat. And, and, and we go and we reach for more food and we start this chain reaction. What insulin resistance is, is we've done this chain reaction so many times that insulin is no longer driving, connecting to glucose and driving it into the cells. And so you're eating, you're hungry, and you're not getting that energy burst. So why we love ketones, why we love the ketogenic diet, why we want to be keto calm is because we wanna change the fuel source in which our body is deriving energy. And this is how it works. And what you guys are doing this week is you're lowering your blood sugar. So this week I'm having you do a ketobiotic approach and we're bringing your carbs under 50 grams. That's gonna net, net carbs. So that's gonna start to bring the blood sugar levels down. The other thing we're doing this week is we're starting to stretch your fasting window. So those of you doing the beginner fast, this might be the longest you've ever fasted. Maybe it's 15 hours. Those of you doing your uh, three to five day water fast with us, oh my gosh, you guys are really bringing your blood sugar down. And if you're doing the keto calm approach with us this week, you're also working on bringing that blood sugar down. When the blood sugar starts to come down, 
It's that bringing down of the blood sugar. It starts to signal that your body breaks down fat. We could call it in a very simple term, burning fat. And when your body starts to burn fat, what it does is it creates, the breakdown is bro uh, broken into something called fatty acids. And fatty acids will travel to the liver and start to initiate the liver making ketones. Now, once ketones are starting, start to get made, they are also a fuel source. So they start to bring your energy up. So it's kind of this weird uh, chemical reaction that you're looking to move from your body being trained that it needs to have blood sugar high in order to make energy. What you're doing is you're training your body when it has low blood sugar that it makes a different kind of energy. It makes ketones that will start to create what we call a more sustained energy. With the traditional diet, what's happening is that your energy is going up and down like this with your food. When your, food, when your blood sugar goes down, you start to crave sugar, you start to crave carbo carbohydrates, you reach for that carbohydrates, the body makes energy, and boop, all of a sudden your energy and blood sugar go back up. With the Keto Calm approach, what we're doing is we're taking you off that up and down and we're bringing your blood, we're stabilizing that blood sugar, we're bringing it down, and that is like a switch or a signal to tell your body to burn fat. And when it starts to burn fat, that starts to make ketones, ketones become your energy source. And now, those of you who've been doing this with me for a while, you've got that sustained energy. I see it all the time in my day-to-day uh, -day life where maybe at 10 or 11, my body in the morning, my body is like the blood sugar is starting to come down, but I haven't really made ketones yet. And so my body is starting to figure out what do I need to do because there's nothing coming in. But as since I've been doing this for so long, and many of you have this experience, that since my body knows, now I've trained it, that okay, when blood sugar goes down, I go to this fuel source. I go and start to burn fat. And it, the longer you play with these principles, the more you train it down here, but you've got to stop this. this. This has to not be the priority or the, or the majority of the way you eat. You need to make this the majority, and now you're training your body to become this incredible fat burner. It's just like, like training a dog to sit. You know, at first you start to train the dog to sit, and the dog doesn't want to sit. But if you do it over time, now the dog sits. So most of us have been eating this way our whole life, and now we've got to train it to burn fat. And you do it by bringing that blood sugar down over and over and over again. And then the body goes, oh, thank you. Okay, let's go make some ketones. Let's burn some fat. And everything you want to accomplish in your diet, in your health, in your calm brain, all of that starts to click in when you tap into this fuel source. So day three, hope you guys are doing great. Give me comments. Let me know how the week is going, how fast training week has been for you and um, if these concepts are landing with you and are helpful. And as always, I love being on this journey with you.